Hello, 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 everybody. Are we live? We're live. Mm -hmm. I guess the alternative would be something else, huh? The alternative would be we would be dead. Well, it is Resurrection Sunday, though, so maybe we wouldn't. But we're not Christ. Oh, that's right. <laughs> He's the only one that can pull that off. The rest of us? Yeah, well, not so much. <laughs> so happy Easter, everybody. That's right. It's March the 31st. It is the last day of March. That means tomorrow is going to be April... First, April Fool's Day. Oh, April, Fool's Day. Mm -hmm. April Fool's Day. Don't forget that. Y'all be watching out. You never know what's going to happen. April Fool's Day. I started a job one time on April Fool's Day. You did? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't remember many April Fool's Days. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I remember the worst April Fool's Day Brandy ever gave. She called me and told me that Sammy Dog got ran over, and I thought she was really crying, and she oh. was faking. It was April Fool's. That child got grounded. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember that now. Not to say that, I sure do. Yeah, that was not not a good thing, y'all. No, it wasn't. So, hey, if you had an exciting weekend, are you going to be ready for tomorrow? Starting off a new month, uh, the second quarter of the year. Are you ready for a new week? Or the second quarter of the year. Yeah. How do you know it's a quarter of the year? I mean, you don't. You're not in accounting, and you're not keeping track of anything, or that would need you to know it was the second quarter of the year i used to i used to have to know that stuff i know but now it don't matter to you it's just another day <laughs> it's still i know it's the fourth month that means it's the second quarter because every quarter has three three months <laughs> she's impressed don't let her fool you <laughs> she's like how'd you know that <laughs> Hey, Thank tonight you. we're going to be playing a game, y'all. Uh, we're going to wait for some more people to roll in here, and then we'll do some highs and hellos and all that good stuff. But right now, I want to let you know that we're going to be playing a game. Uh, it's based off of the Mad Libs. It's going to be a sea leg journey version of that. Uh, we did it a Wednesday or two ago or a Friday. I don't know. We did it a, few, a little while back, and it uh, seemed to go pretty good. So I've got uh, I've got two short ones here that I think will be fun. I create them all myself, and I made about a half a dozen of them. And I read them to her, like his practice, writing them down. I didn't know what it was. He was just asking yeah. me words. I don't even yeah. know why he's asking me words. And I'm like, I'm tired of giving you words. What do you want? So she has no idea what these stories are or nothing like that. So he just used gonna... me as a test subject. Yeah. I just to wanted see to see what kind of words I knew. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised how much Klingon she knew, y'all. I was like, what is Rebecca Fox? <laughs> I thought it was just her because she's in there working in her office today. And um, I was cleaning up my office. I wasn't working. Oh, yeah. She was cleaning up her office. I found my desk three times and lost it three times. <laughs> she's not kidding. But, yeah, we actually built something else for her office this weekend. Yeah. And when we do finally do a video of her finished room, you'll get to see that as well. You can see everything that we Okay. Can I done. interrupt you there? Yeah. If you're going to put a video out mm -hmm. on YouTube, of how to do something. Make sure you tell us everything, not just the things that makes it look like it's easy because it really ain't that easy. I didn't even want to watch it. She watched a video or two. I or watched something. more than one video. I didn't watch any of it. I watched, no, I said, no, we'll figure this out. I, might, I watched more than one video. And it was funny because on one video, a gentleman told me some things that the lady did not tell me that obviously I needed to know, but yet still neither one of them told me really what I needed to know. They met, they made this thing and they made it look like it was just easy peasy pudding and pie, but no, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. It, okay. We had to figure out the parts that they didn't tell us. Yeah. But that's the fun of it to me. I like figuring out, you know, why are we not getting enough water volume in here? Oh, we figured that out. But anyway, we figured out a lot of stuff, but we we're going to tell you more we're about smart. that. Yeah. Because we ain't dumber than two boxes of rocks. Well, maybe we are dumber than two boxes of rocks. But not maybe one, not. maybe two. <laughs> All right. My so tummy feels funny. Uh oh. I hope it's not gas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we've got some people popping in here already. Okay, so let's see who's in the let's chat. Roll Is that there. What you're trying to tell me? Yeah, too? let's go over there and say hi to somebody. All right. Let's and then we'll start this game up. Okay, here we go. Hey, it's StreamYard here, that wacky little duck. <laughs> Thanks, StreamYard, for showing up tonight. <laughs> Without StreamYard, we wouldn't have a show. <laughs> and there's Tiffany Lava Shark, Baby Shark, wishing everybody a happy Easter. Happy Easter to you, Tiffany. And there's Mark the Shark. Get your salutes up, everybody. See, so saying he's saying hello, hello, my beautiful people. Oh. Woo! Right on, Mark the Shark. Controversial cruising. That's Scott yeah, coming controversial in. Controversial cruising. Yeah. Are they controversial? No. 
then why is their name controversial, Cruzy? We don't know. Because they're, they're very pleasant. Yeah, Scott's a super guy. I know. You know, his videos are great. And, you know, I didn't find anything controversial about it. I didn't it. either. It's, it's fun. The guy, he's a smart guy. Maybe he's that's the pun. Maybe that's the pun. That he's not controversial. Maybe I should change up our name to the not controversial channel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so nice to have you. Hey, Scott. <laughs> There's Doug and Becky on the move. Hey, I've never seen Doug and Becky on the move no, here I before. Have either. I? Have you seen them here before? No. That looks like a new name right Welcome there. Welcome in. Hey, yeah, thanks for joining us here tonight. We're going to be playing a game here in a few minutes, so mm -hmm. stick around, and uh, we'd like to have everybody involved in the chat. Yeah, so here we go. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for joining us. We yeah, really do appreciate it. We sure do. Mm -hmm. And uh, and looky here, what's over the hill? We got dun, 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 dun. Shady Hill Homestead. <laughs> Good evening to you, Shady Hill. And here is Antoinette. At fun as usual. Got back from one cruise, getting ready to go on another. Is she that's really? I'm that's so why she's jealous. always at fun. I'm so jealous. Yeah, and tell Angelo we said hi to uh, Antoinette. And look, it's the cruise nuts. Tracy and Mike, how's it going over cruise nuts? She, they're saying, hey, guys, from the cruise nuts. Woo! They got some great, let me tell you what, if you want to see some great views of ships, ships that you've seen, ships that you haven't seen, ships that you're going to see, if you want to see them, get over there to cruise nuts. They have got spectacular footage from the drone, y'all. Mm. Spectacular footage. Spectacular. And Scott says, so controversial cruising comes from the fact that you can have a view on cruising. I can have a view. And we can still oh, cruise together. Like that. Okay, so that's I just, a double squeaky. I just never realized that. I just never real. But see, I'm. I don't think that really deep into words. I just accept the words as they are. But you know, it, like you said, it's kind of like your videos. You had to watch this video to get that point of right. view, and you had to watch this video to get that point of view. And that's it's the, the same thing with his, cruising. That's his point of view. Fantastic, Scott. We love it. Look, here's Aaron. <laughs> hey, there's Aaron Smith, one of our fantastic super far out moderators aaron thanks for joining us tonight my friend okay so we have a game okay we got a game y'all and make sure you put your answers in there and i've got two stories we're going to rumble through them as quick as we can here and these are called mad libs yeah they're based on mad libs but i made them up you can't find these in a book you can't find them on tv you can't find them in the library you can't find them on the internet you can't find them anywhere except here at sea lake journeys because they came out of this fantastic mind okay yeah, the Joker is my cousin, and the Riddler is my other cousin. <laughs> okay, so hey, anyway, first of all, we're going to start off. Oh, wait, look. Oh, what do we got? Oh, super chat. Oh, show them what to do. Very much. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. We really do appreciate that very That's, much. Thanks, Scott, for that super chat. Right on, brother. You get extra. 516 points. And Aaron game. says, Sea Lake Journey is exclusive. 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 Yeah, if you don't get it here, you're not going to get it anywhere else. Probably not. <laughs> we are not like poison ivy. You can get it in that pile of woods over there, that field over there, but you can't get this anywhere else. <laughs> oh, so he says he hit Aaron before he said, Happy Easter. Happy Easter, right? <laughs> on, Scott, we got you. Happy Easter to you too. Happy my Easter to everybody. And thank you again. Thank you again. Thank you very much again. Woo, that's mm -hmm. right. So, hey, the first thing we're going to need from y'all is. The name of someone in the chat. Someone the in the someone, chat. Well, I'm I'm gonna say Scott because he's because he's in the chat. He, he is in the chat. <laughs> ain't he? Well, you know what? For oh, super, look, and here's Aaron and Scott from Controversial Cruising. Let, let the, the dogs, dogs out. out. <laughs> and you know what? We're gonna put Scott up ooh, for the name. How about that? Ooh, 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 ooh. The name. Let of, the dogs out, Scott. Let the dogs out. He let the dogs out, and he's gonna be someone in the chat too. How about that? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing we're going to need is a wild animal. A wild a animal, y'all. Wild animal. Not a goldfish, not something to keep at home, not a cat, or not a dog, not a parrot, not a parakeet, not a guinea pig, something wild. So you want them to put in the chat some wild the chat. animal. Oh, yeah, wild well, animal. Here's the first wild animal we got. How about a boar? A boar. That's a wild hog. A boar it is. A boar it is. That's the name of our wild animal. Okay. And how about now we need a destination, y'all, a destination, a place where you want to go, a place where you have been, a place where you're at. 
anywhere, anything, as long as it's a destination. It can be Jamaica. It can be Walmart. It can be Mars. It can be anywhere Would on the seven seas. Already? I'm just excited. <laughs> I'm drinking from my carnival tumbler, y'all. <laughs> you need to come up for air. Mm. You know me. A I destination. Do. Oh, here's a destination right here. Aruba. Aruba is a great destination. Mm -hmm. Doug and Becky, you, we're going to go to Aruba. We're going to Aruba. Right on, y'all. Right on, y'all. Okay, we need the name of a cruise line. We got to get there. So how are we going? I don't know. Let's let's try name a cruise of line. A cruise line. I'm gonna say MSC. We got anybody else? What else? Not we got? yet. Mm -hmm. no. You gave me the first answer. Mm -hmm. Scott gave me the second one. Becky. Becky. Doug and Becky gave, gave me the third, the third answer. Let's mm -hmm. see who else got the the fourth the fourth one here. And by the way, there's 14 in this story. Okay. 14 in the story. Team Reese. Hey, Team Reese, come on, join us for some fun here. Throw some words up here in the. So what are we supposed to have? What we're, are we supposed looking to look, we're looking for a cruise line. Name a of a cruise, cruise line. line. Any okay. cruise line, real or imaginary. I don't care as long as it's a cruise line. Um. Well, Tiffany said the Bahamas. That's a good location. Um, She's got destination right there. Mm -hmm. And the Paradise Bahama, Bahama Paradise. Bahamas, oh, Bahama Paradise. Bahamas Paradise. That's there that's we what go. we'll go with right there. Bahama Paradise. Bahamas Paradise, also known now as uh, Margaritaville. Ah. Uh, yeah, right? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, mm -hmm, that's right. Okay, we need an adjective. An adjective, don't forget, is a word that describes a noun. <laughs> a word that describes a noun, like tall, short, fat, skinny, white, orange, long, heavy, uh, all kinds of words like that. Stringy, funky. <laughs> so let's see what kind of adjectives we're going to get in this chat here tonight. We don't have one yet. Everyone's still saying hello to Team Reese. Everybody came in, Team Reese, and tall. Tiffany says tall. All right, Tiffany's launching tall up in here. Tall. tall. Okay, tall it is. So now, y'all ready? We need. Oh, we got sexy. Sexy. Did we? What, did we need? Did you need more than one? Uh, let's see if I need one down the. If I need, I don't need. No, I don't need another one down here. I got no, no more adjectives on this. Shit. Okay. Well, we had sexy and itchy. Itchy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know what? Watch this. Here at Sea Lake Journeys, we make our own rules. Okay. Let's go to the next one. We need a noun. A noun. Okay. So how many nouns do we need? And we'll take more than one noun. Okay. Yeah. We need uh, one, two, three nouns. Okay. Let's so y'all throw some nouns in here, and I'm going to fill in all three of them. How that, about that? Let's do that. Three nouns. Throw them up, y'all. Let's see what we get. It can Anything. It can be a... We have a cat. A cat is a noun. We have Waffle House. Waffle House is a, okay, it's a noun too. And welcome in the Bud Files. Hey, Buds, what's going on there, Joe and Sue? And Aaron says, what? No more adjectives? You needed a... A bajillion. bajillion. <laughs> you needed a bajillion Friday in the Friday game. I've got all kinds of other stuff you're going to need, though. Okay, so what we have? We had cat. We had, we had cat and Waffle House. And squirrel. Hi, Duck Man. Duck Man's going to give a squirrel. Okay. Okay, y'all. We're ready to move on to the next one. We need a name, name of a YouTube channel. Name of a YouTube channel. Any you YouTube channel will do. I say Duck Man because Duck Man was the last one that came in. Duck Man? That's a new one. Mm -hmm, right here, Duck Man. We have never seen Duck Man here before, have no, we? Not. I don't know. Have we? No, we have not. Duck well, Man. Well, Duck Man. Give him a, give him a, let the dog out while I write down okay, the Duck Man here, here in the YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. And thank case, you very much, Duck Man. Yeah, and in case you missed it, you are now part of our story that we're making yes. up. It's like a Mad Lib, but it's Sea Lake Journey version, and now you are part of the story. There you so go. you can stick around see why you're in the story. <laughs> <laughs> and we need a number. Somebody give me a number. How many numbers you need? I need one number. Just one number. One the number. first number that I see is the number we're going with. Okay. What, what kind of number we're we got? Waiting, we're waiting. We're waiting for a number. We're going to have integers. We're going to have real numbers. We're going to have imaginary numbers. Seven. Seven is the number. Okay. We had seven and we had 4,000 and we had 17. So let's make it 4,000. Oh, and we have 33. So let's make it 4,737. 4, 4,737. That uses a part of everybody's number. Okay. And Duckman's from Central Florida. Hey, right on, Duckman. We are too. How about okay, that? Okay, Control Cruiser. Five. Five. <laughs> 
525,600 minutes. That's how long this show's been going on, y'all. It's a marathon over here at Sea Lake Journeys. Okay, y'all, we need a name. Of, we need a job. We need a blue collar worker job. A blue collar worker job. Yeah, you know, electrician, a plumber, a mechanic, you know, somebody that gets out there and gets it done sweaty. They didn't go to college. They went to the school of hard knocks. Right on. They're the people you call when something is broke on your car or your house I or your boat. I this here. It's called Sea Lib by Sea Leg. Sea Lib. <laughs> oh, I'm writing that down. Oh, hold on. Double squeaky right there. Because that's what we're going to call it from now C-lib on. Sea Lib by Sea Leg. Sea lib by sea leg. We're going to use that. I like that. I like creative titles like that. So uh, we'll, we'll probably do this once a month or something like that, you know. And uh, and when we do, you know, you know what? We're going to call it sea lib by sea leg. Thanks to Scott. Okay, so you have to pick a number one through four. Who does? You. I'm picking three. Three. Okay. Why am I so three? I had mechanic, hotel concierge, steel worker, construction worker. So the third one was a steel worker? The steel one was a steel worker. Steel worker. Okay. We're going with steel worker. Okay. We need a place on a ship. Any place on a ship. Any place on Any a place ship. Any place on a ship. Anywhere. <laughs> sea Leg Journal by Sea Leg Journeys. <laughs> I like that too. <laughs> I think we'll go with the, I like the short version of that. Sea Lib by Sea Leg. That's, that's I, cool. I like that. I like yeah, that. Yeah, that's really mm-hmm. good. Okay, so we have the Lido deck. Lido deck? What we else? have the Lido deck. We have the Stern. We have the Kids Club. Kid. Mm. And we have the Engine Room. Okay, what do y'all think, y'all? Which one should we go with? For all the friends out there, Sea Lake Journeys live games are fun. <laughs> 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 okay. I, um, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? Lido deck. Stern, Kids Club, or Engine Room? You know, not enough people make it down to the Engine Room. All right, Engine Room it is. How many of y'all have been to the Engine Room? Anybody? I, not me. Yes, no. I have. No, yeah, I have. have. No, have I? We went by one on a ship. Yeah, we but did. It, it was a battleship, but... <laughs> There you go. I've been on LSTs and stuff, too. But, uh, okay, we need okay. two more things, y'all. We need a color. I'm, you know, I'm going to throw both of these out okay. there. Somebody give me a color, and somebody give me... An insect. A color and an insect. What about a colorful insect? Nope. I don't want, (laughs) not the same thing. Don't tell me green hornet, yellow butterfly. Don't want that. So Aaron says the green engine, give give the the engine engine room crew some love. That's right. We're going to give engine room some loving back here, right here. So, so far we have red and butterfly. They're both from Tiffany. And then we have grasshopper from Aaron. And hello, Marjorie. Marjorie's joined in. Hey, Marjorie. Woo-hoo! Good happy Easter Sunday evening to you. Come on, enjoy our fun in the game. Okay, we've got red. And what kind of we have? What what insect we, we have? We so? had red. We had a butterfly. We had a grasshopper. Um, we had. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh my honey off. <laughs> um, I tried to go on my last behind the fun tour, but it ended up in the cruise mess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got red and I got grasshopper. How about mm-hmm. that? Okay. Okay, y'all, I'm going to read this first story to you, and we have another one to do, too, as we talk in, in between stuff in the chats with any cruising stuff you may have also. All right, here's our story, the one you created here at Sea Lib by Sea Leg. Sea Lib by Sea Leg. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, and the story starts off, Scott and his pet boar, you know, I got to, give me a second to write this down. He's got He's got to write it out. So that was Scott from Controversial Cruising, wasn't yeah. it? Yes, it was. Mm-hmm. Hold on to your hats, kids. That's what Aaron Smith says. Hold on to your hats, kids. How about giving us a thumbs up while we're waiting for Chet? Everybody hit that thumbs up. Woohoo! Thank you. This is funny stuff, y'all. I'm sorry, but I don't know how to do this show by myself. I don't, not one that really, I talk to myself a lot about work stuff. I really don't talk to myself about stuff sitting around. I could never do a live like some of y'all do lives for three and four hours. There's just no way. I don't think I could find enough to talk about. And this is getting boring, Chet. You need to hurry up. Don't, I don't want to hear that word boring. That's going to get 
a dynamic wedge if I hear that again. <laughs> you are if it's boring, it's because you're sitting there. Just juggle, sing, whistle, hoot, squeaky, squeaky. <laughs> I'm almost done. I got a couple more. <laughs> um. Well, so. How many more days to your next cruise? I don't know. 21, 20 days till I go to Tennessee for work. Okay, I got um, here's it. Here's Team Reese. I, I don't, don't like doing lives by myself either. No, I, I I would not be good at it. And Controversial Cruising says my pet boar can be boring. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, we've got the story written out now. All right, now we got the story. So, Here we go, guys. So back Hold to on. Scott and his pet boar. <laughs> Scott right. and his pet boar were going on a cruise to Aruba. They chose the Bahama Paradise, also known as Margaritaville, the cruise line. And because they like tall, sexy, itchy food... And this cruise line is famous for serving fried cat. Yeah. It's a good reason to pick that cruise line, huh? This was going to be a group cruise held by the Duckman. Duckman, you're, ho you're hosting a group cruise. <laughs> <laughs> they were experienced cruisers having sailed 4,737 times in the past week. In the past week? <laughs> That's think, the story, y'all. I don't think you can get that many times in a week. Everyone on the cruise hoped to meet a steel worker on the ship because I left it at that. I'll let you have your own because in your own mind. The sail away party was held in the engine room and everyone was wearing waffles from the Waffle House. <laughs> They're wearing them. Okay. Yeah. The music was played by some band called the Red Grasshoppers. The cruise was cut short due to a lack of squirrels. The end. I That's bow. what you worked on all day. <laughs> I was one of them. It takes time to write these things. It takes time. It takes time. Have y'all written these things out and then try to make them work? Controversial crazy says Margaritaville of the Sea is the only line that allows boars. That's why he had to pick that one. Good choice, Scott, right there. If you got a pet boar, and you want to go cruising, you got to get on Paradise Bahamas, also known as Margaritaville now. <laughs> and here's Mark the Shark, 801. Hey, aloha and happy Easter right on. We got not just one, but two Mark the Sharks That's in here right. tonight. So get your double fins up, y'all. And we We're, have the baby shark. And we got baby shark. We're triple finning. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? I don't know. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to figure that out another time, won't we? <laughs> okay, for, we got another sea lib. Another sea lib, y'all. Hey, hope y'all having a great weekend. Hopefully, we ain't messing up your weekend with this silly stuff. Uh, oh, also, while we're here, we want to advertise. Don't forget, come on here Wednesday morning at eight thirty and Friday morning at eight thirty. Woo! We're going to be right here live at Sea Lake Journey Studio with me, the Cow, Snoopy, Miffy, and Bucky the Beaver, right here to entertain you. He's got to have this big crowd back here. I don't know. I don't know how he does it. Uh, excuse me. Mm. I have I have a big crowd back here now. If you haven't been here, uh, you can see we've redone the studio, and uh, we got some more stuff to do in here, but we had to do more stuff over on her side first. Mm -hmm. We did. Down. Here's Aaron. Uh, triple finning and a measure of Scott compliance. <laughs> <laughs> We're rolling large on Easter Sunday. Rolling large. That calls for a squeak and, a, <laughs> and an oink. <laughs> Maybe his head looks heavy. Well, she's wearing a lot of medals. Can you tell? All those are pins from Carnival Cruises. We've been on not all the carnival cruises we've been on, just some of them because well, she ran out of shirt material. She's a she's a little bunny. Unless he's thinking that the cow is Miffy. Oh no, the cow is. We don't have even have a name for that cow. No, he's just the cow. He, yeah. he he's really Ringo's toy. Yeah. Ringo will drag that big old cow as big as that cow is. Ringo will drag that cow around this house. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see what we got on this chat. Let's it's see what we got here. Travels. Hey, midlife travels. Good evening to you. Saying happy Easter, Chet and Robin. Happy mm -hmm. Easter to y'all. Bam, Manola's here right on. Hey, Sea Lake Journeys, happy Easter. I hope you had a good couple of days off there, Bama. I know you got to get back and hit it tomorrow. Thanks for joining us tonight. And there's Scott saying, looks like me at work right now on my desk. <laughs> he says he did mean the cow. <laughs> oh, wait, I meant the cow. Yeah. Now, Miffy's a little teeny tiny rabbit back there. Mm -hmm. Hey, Don Arnold's here. Aloha to you, Don. Uh, he's letting the cat out of the bag. <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> Letting the cat out of the bag here at Sea Lake Journeys. <laughs> okay, y'all ready for some more? I'm going to throw uh, this one here. Let me count here. It's go we're going to need two adjectives, y'all. Two adjectives. 
Can y'all come up with two adjectives? Remember, English 101, those are words that describe a noun. Tall, skinny, fat, short, orange, purple, long, stretchy, itchy, funky. Mm. This is a different story. It's a different story. So use different words. Okay, so here's what we got so far. We've got large. large. We've got spiffy. How many, how many do you need? I need two. Okay, so we got large. We got spiffy. Large. And we got spiffy. Biffy. Mm -hmm. And here's Joel Johnson. Joel coming in. Happy Easter. Our favorite peeps laugh out loud. Yeah. Beep, beep. <laughs> hey, Joel right there. Simplify to you, my brother. Thanks for joining us here on the Sunday evening. Now, Don Arnold says fantastic and favorite. Fantastic and favorite. Okay. You know what? This is Sea Lake Journeys, and this is how we roll. Okay. We can have more than one adjective. Yeah, we can. Here's Aaron. He says, since we're working another sea leg. Oh, he's put the. He's oh, yeah. Put thank, the yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for that. Aaron. Yes, thank Appreciate you, Aaron. It. Aaron, okay. Aaron. Aaron's getting a special award tonight for top moderator. Mm, right on. Okay. What else do we need? Oh, we need. You guessed it. Another YouTube channel. I'm Somebody. A, is it only one YouTube just channel? Just one YouTube maybe? channel. Yep. One YouTube channel. One YouTube channel. Last one was. Uh, was a new channel in here with us. Last one was Duck, Duck Man. Man. How about that? How about that? Who we got this time? Who I couldn't tell you. What, it, what adventure is this I channel? I did see we only have one thumbs up. That's, that's that, not right. Don't worry that, about that. That makes me cry. How about three giving us here. some thumbs up, you guys? See, that says three. We got oh, four. Okay. That means we got four. <laughs> we got three over here and one over there. So we got four. Oh, we got some love going up. <laughs> Tiffany the Sharks. She's giving us some love. Thank you, Tiffany. Oh, thank you for that. Um. And here is Aaron. He says, Bam Manola. Why not? Let's do it. That is our YouTube channel right there. Bama Nola Adventures. Oh, now the thumbs up are coming. He says, I, he sees seven thumbs up. Let's oh, get more. Now 15. 15. Oh, thanks for that, y'all. And it's Leon Live. Hey, Leon, how's it going tonight? Come on and, and join Lori the game. And Barber. She says, Vanilla and Gorilla. Vanilla and Gorilla. <laughs> That's because of Vanilla and the Gorilla. Champ the Sea Lake Journey. Uh, 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 YouTube channel you were wanting. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. Thanks for joining us, Lori. Lori's going to be with us in about uh, six weeks Ish. on a cruise ship, six weeks from today. What's what? your next word you need? How, what is it, a noun, or what is it? Well, hold on. Let me see. What? Oh, I need, a, I need a body part. A body part. A how body many, part. How many body parts you need? Well, just one. Just one. Just one. <laughs> Did you need another number? Oh, mm -hmm. we got 15 thumbs up now. Thank you. Thank y'all so much. I feel much better. Uh, I Lori need... Barber says I'm showing 19. 19. Whoa. Okay. How about that, y'all? How about that? Okay, a body part. A we... body part. And Hey, maybe it should be a thumb. <laughs> Let's make it a thumb, yes, because we were asking for thumbs up. Uh, well, let's see what we got. Uh, Joel says leg. That could be a Midlife leg. Midlife says leg. <laughs> oh hey, welcome in. Rock the boat. Rock the boat. Hey, what's going on? They're saying happy Easter to all y'all. Happy Easter to you too. Come on and join the fun of this we game got, show. Everybody says leg. It's, it's all about your leg. We need, definitely leg, need a leg. A yeah. leg, a toe, a big toe. I mean, come on. It's all about the legs. We'll, we'll go with the leg tonight. After all, it says see what leg journey. Phalang, phalange. Oh, it's phalange. Like That's a finger. A finger or a toe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A knee. Look a at knee. all these emojis. Oh, my goodness. We got ears, noses. <laughs> Head and shoulders, <laughs> feet and toes. <laughs> and uh, Leon, okay. And, okay, we got everybody. Mm. All right, what's next? Okay, next one is, I need a day or a holiday. A day or a holiday. A day or a holiday. Yeah, so you get, you can pick Tuesday or you can pick March 17th or you can pick, you know, Shamrock Day. Anything, whether it's a day or a holiday. It has to be something like that. Something we can find on it. On a calendar, but not a Sunday. Well, Don did say tushy. <laughs> day. We're waiting for a day, you guys. Give us a day. Day or a holiday. Either day. one. Oh, so uh, uh, Cruz not say Easter. Don says Easter. Easter is. I think it's going to be Easter. Looks like Easter. It to is me. Easter after all. That's a good choice. Mm -hmm. Very good choice. Midlife says Halloween. Okay, now we need. An aquatic noun. And by aquatic noun, I mean something you find in or on the water. Living or machine, doesn't matter. Something that's in the water or on the water. Something. Ben Manila says, a day that ends with Y. A day that ends with Y. That's one of my favorite days. Oh, I'm going to go in too. 
Okay, so we have a jellyfish, we have a crab. Oh, we got all kinds of okay. And welcome welcome in James Cantonese. Hey James Corner, play a game with us, James. Okay, so which one which one do you like? Dolphin. Now we have a dolphin. We got all kinds of aquarium. Now we got animals. crabs and lobsters. And welcome in Cindy. Cindy Dersham. That's a new person in there too. Hey. Is it? Yeah. Have we had anything more than once? Crabs. Crab right, crab it is. We got crabs. We got crabs. Only here at Sea Lady Journeys. Hey, and we got Cindy, a whale. thanks for joining us. Let's go ahead and give her the, the uh thanks for being here. We got here. whales, thanks. we got sharks. Welcome in. Oops. I guess I gotta start it over. Very much. Well, thank you very much. Cindy, thank you. Cindy. Well, thank you very much. Sharks and whales. So we went with crabs. We apparently had more people in there with crabs than we did sharks and whales. Okay. So we got, we, yeah. Oh, we oh. have sea slug. <laughs> sea slug would have been a good one. We need a location. A location. Anywhere. Anywhere. It could be a close location, like your bathroom. It could be a faraway location, like China. It could be Mars. It could be anywhere. A location. How about a location, y'all? I have no idea where, where this is going. Hawaii, Spain, Aruba, Belize. Oh, my goodness. We got so many up here. Bangladesh. Bangladesh. I like that one. That, that, that one's different. Bangladesh it is. That's very different, ain't it? Okay. Now we need, we need a noun. Just a noun. The port of, what is this? The port of... Port of Birmingham, Birmingham. Alabama, <laughs> courtesy of SCT Adventures. <laughs> That's the Port of Birmingham. And the, and the moon, too. The moon. <laughs> what are you looking for? A noun. A noun. A noun. All my exes are in Texas. That's what Dawn <laughs> says. Schoolhouse. Schoolhouse. We got schoolhouse. We've got, that's what my dog What's that? That's that's what my dog Bangladesh. He, uh, he Bangladesh. Bangs his dish. That's funny. Mine does this. That's what my dog does when he's hungry. Bangladesh. Pluto. Doghouse. Okay, yeah, I was looking for a noun. So doghouse is a noun. There we go. Doghouse. Okay. All right, we only got two more things to fill up. One of them is a mode of transportation. Okay. A frying pan. <laughs> a frying pan. <laughs> That's, um, I actually. Loaded on that one. Okay. Laughed out loud. Laughed out. Okay. Yeah. And ED. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we need a mode of transportation, y'all. So we have a bus. We have a Segway. We have a Viper. We have a blue, a love bug. A Segway. We have. That's just. Segways, segways off the wall. Let's right. go off the segway. wall. Segway. Segway it is. And now we need a person in the chat. Not necessarily. It don't have to be a channel. It can be, it can be just a person. So somebody who's in the and chat the right now. And says slingshot. Oh, a slingshot would be one too, wouldn't it? Motor transportation. <laughs> All right, a person in the chat. Who are we going to get for a person in the chat? I we see. Tiffany. Oh, Tiffany. Tiffany's right there. First one, ain't she? And we have tricycle. Oh. Tiffany. Faminola, happy 13 months. 13 Woo! months? Whoa! Happy 13 months, Baminola. It looks like they let the dog out. Oh. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Baminola. 13 months you've been with us, been a member of our channel for 13 months. Thank you so much. We really do appreciate you. And we have Maggie 52655. Welcome in, Maggie. Welcome to Sea Lake Journeys. Hey, welcome in. I got to write this story so. And we have Orange Cone Vlog. That's welcome Ross. In. Hey, Ross. Will you start writing? Oh, I'm, oh, I'm writing. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Meg. I always want to call her Megs and Cheese because she used to be Megs and Cheese. Now she's Megs and Seeds. That's right. Hi, Meg. So nice to see you. Um, so um, Chet's putting all the words together that y'all gave him for his little mad lib because it's mad kind of day. Um, 
and I don't like being left alone on my own. It's usually not a good thing. Aaron, there aren't any in the room as we see, but the dogs have been there. Oh, yeah, uh, baby Enzo, he's actually on the wheelchair over here asleep. I, I'll get him. Here he is. Here's baby Enzo asleep on the wheelchair. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> he wants to know why you moving me around, Mama. I was I was perfectly fine. I was sound asleep. What you doing, moving me around? There he is. There's that big boy. Come on up here and tell everybody hi. All right, we have got a story for y'all. A story of the century. I don't know. Oh, you, oh, you let baby Enzo? Uh, he, I brought, they were talking about him saying that the dogs were usually on the show, and this one was over there, and now he wants to be up here. Yep, that's baby Enzo. Uh, he's the one, you know, Scott let the dogs out with the uh, super chat. Bam and Noah let him out with the 13 months, and, and some new people coming in, let the dogs out. We have had the oh, dogs and jump out. and here, a new oh. member, Midlife Travels. Oh, Midlife Travels. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Midlife Travels. Um, so here's Orange Cone. Hmm. Mad Lib Word Pineapple. Pineapple. This is not Eddie Lugo's show. <laughs> and it makes it she's too late for the game, but she's sending love. Thank you, Meg. We love you too. Thank you, Meg. And Aaron says, oh, the baby was asleep. Hey, a lot of what we learned about YouTube, we had to learn from Meg, you know, about, you know, mm -hmm. how to do moderate and stuff. So, yeah. Welcome in, Jackie. Jackie, usually we see Jackie in the mornings, but Jackie's here at night. Thanks for coming in, Jackie. Uh, we're doing our, our um, what, what would Scott Mad name Mad Lib. It's called Sea Lib by Sea Leg. Sea Lib by Sea Leg. That's right. It's like a Mad Lib. But, uh, so we've been rolling all of these uh, words out here now, and we're going to lay this story on you. Are you ready for this crazy story? Go right ahead. I think baby, shh, baby Enzo is going to go to sleep while I'm reading to him. <laughs> okay. Once upon a time, there was a large, fantastic Segway. This was the fastest transportation in Bangladesh. There were eight dog houses that wanted to go to the moon for Easter. I don't know why they wanted to go, but they did. <laughs> So the Segway could get them there, but needed some cheap fuel. Tiffany Lava Baby Shark 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 suggested using some red flying crabs. Well, this seemed like a spiffy idea. So Bama Nola Adventures volunteered to get that fuel. <laughs> the trip to the moon was successful, even after everyone on board paid the space toll of one leg. <laughs> I have proof <laughs> that I paid my toll. How about you? <laughs> the end. The end. So here's Aaron. Uh, if you like what you see here tonight, subscribe to Sea Leg Journeys. If you really like them, join the channel right <laughs> on Aaron. Thanks for that. That's a that's a double squeaky right there for Aaron too. Yeah, come on and, and be part of the Sea Leg Journey crew. We're like the haunted mansion. We've always got room for one more, and you could be it. Well, we got hey. Cindy says we're fun. <laughs> <laughs> James is laughing. Well, thanks for that, Cindy. We appreciate it. Uh, that's kind of what we like to do here at Sea Lake Journeys. Typically, we talk just about cruising, but it being it Easter, Easter, yeah, we thought we'd lighten it up a little bit and have a little bit of fun. And here's finally a positive use of those juicy leg baby daddies. <laughs> <laughs> that was on the prior uh, Sea Leg Lib show. Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> it sure was. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've had a great time uh, doing this with y'all. So if this is something that you would like to do once a month or so, let me know in the chat here for the next few minutes. want to make sure that, you know, people are interested. seems like everybody's pretty interested in it. Mm hmm and Megan said that she she loves us. She's just been busy. Uh, Megan, totally get it. You you are around you. I don't know how you do everything, honey. You're just always busy. You're always you're going 100 miles a minute every time I every time I see something about you. And here's Carmel in for the win. Carmel live for the win. Right on Carmel. Good and to see you. Pedro the trouble. Hey John over there on the west coast. Uh, we're going to be coming your way in October. By the way, we are. We yep. are. Yeah, mm -hmm. we sure are. And Maggie loved it. Thank you, Maggie. Thanks, Maggie. We sure appreciate it. Yeah, so we got the Sea Leg uh, Cruises coming up in uh, 
May 12th through the 19th. We'll be on the MSC Seashore. And Lori Barber's going to be with us. How about that, Lori? She is. She's going to get to do some live stuff with us on the ship. Who knows what we're going to do, Lori? It's going to be exciting. So that's on the one we're going on first, the one in May. That's MSC Seashore. MSC Seashore. Seashore. M-S-C Seashore. With the seashells by the seaside. <laughs> so we've been on MSC before. Yes. Um, I can't remember some of the fun things that they do on MSC. Oh, they had the bubbles. That was the ship that had the... Um, by the aft pool, they had a whole big bubble party. It was yep. like bubbles everywhere. Bubbles everywhere. The, yep. the only bad side to it was the floor got really slippery. <laughs> yeah, it really did. Here's Aaron Smith. Uh, we're up for any type of fun games here on the Sea Leg Journey Live. <laughs> That's right, Aaron. In fact, if anybody uh, new here wants to, we got half a dozen or so game shows that we've done in the past that you can go check out and see uh, what kind of wild antics the Sea Leg Journey crew has done on this channel. So, and Pedroza says, cool, fun, California. October is nice in California, not too hot. So, the thing that I'm really excited about the trip to California, mm -hmm. or, where are we going on that one? What is that? That was next year. No, it's this year. Oh, it's this year. October, in October of this year. October 26th through November 2nd, we're cruising out of LA on the Discovery Princess. And what I'm so excited about that is one of our excursions is riding camels down the beach. Yes, right. I think camels. that is going to be so much. Do we ride on a camel together or does everybody get their own camel? I don't know. I don't know. I just thought about that. I wonder if I'm going to be on my camel by myself. I think so. I think we everybody gets their own camel. You know what? I do. I did some pictures, and everybody did have their own camel. Yeah, didn't they? I think so. Oh, I'm excited to get my own camel. Yeah, she's going to get a camel that goes fast, and I'm going to get a camel that's like <laughs> blazing saddles and spitting at me, <laughs> or coming the barbarian. Man. Uh, we were on the seashore in January. The shows are great. The yes. ship was great. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Thanks for that word, Duck Man. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Um, I know the seaside when we did that, they had a Michael Jackson show that was just phenomenal. Y and so Pedroza says you do get your own camel and it's in Cabo. That's yeah. Right. Cabo so, San Lucas. Uh, in May on the MSC, we, um, uh, we're really not doing any excursions, are we? No, we can't find anything that's, uh, we not find, we can't find anything we haven't ever done before or that, we really are excited about doing and they canceled the um the, the port, private the island private island port yeah and so we're going somewhere else instead yeah the Dom dominican republic that's right we're going mm -hmm. to a different port there we haven't been to so we'll get off and film that yep so we will do that yeah. yes and aaron's telling everyone we do allow you to share your link uh in the chat yes. on our show all you have to do is ha type in hashtag slj nightbot will share your link it's the only job he has thanks for that aaron see this is why we need aaron in here and our moderators to do stuff like this that we just forget to do y'all i know we, you know they keep us on track thank you for that aaron you get another double squeaky <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going to be on the MSC and then we're getting off the MSC and we're driving directly down to Miami Miami, and getting on the Norwegian breakaway. That's right. We're getting on the Norwegian breakaway. We got our group cruise, the Sea Lake Journey group cruise. If you haven't heard of it, I'm sure you have. But uh, we're going to be doing that with uh, Ocean to Ocean Travel and T&T's Adventures to Sea and some other people. And uh, come on and join us on that. It's an official so group cruise. So here's Lori Barber says that Puerto Plata in yes. the Dominican Republic has a lazy river in the port. Well, then you know where I'll be. I'll be in that lazy river. Lori, you know where to find us. I when love we get there, a good lazy river. In fact, if you know where it is, we will follow you out of the yacht club right to it. How about that? <laughs> oh, that's right. Yes, because she's going to be on the ship with us. Yeah, she's going to be with us. I right? didn't know that they had a lazy river there. I didn't either. Mm -mm. See, that's right there. And uh, John says, uh, I'm excited because my November cruise will stay overnight in Cabo. I haven't done that before. Yeah, That's rarely cool. do ships stay overnight in ports. Yeah. Um, I know they stay overnight at the um, MSC Private Island. Yeah, Great Stir, not Great Stir, okay, uh, uh, MSC's Island. Mm -hmm. I forget the name of it now. Um, but yeah, they stay overnight, MSC does. Mm -hmm. And then I know they stay overnight when they go to um, uh, the Bermuda Triangle. Oh, yeah. They stay in, in Bermuda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes like two or three days they stay mm -hmm. over. Here's Aaron. 
down uh, the lazy river. <laughs> by the lazy Way river. Way down upon the lazy, lazy river. river. You'll find Ocean sea K. leg journeys. Uh, team races remind me Ocean of K. Ocean K. Yeah. Oh, double squeaky for team race right there for saving us on that. Barbara says maybe our butlers will escort us. Well, I'm sure they'll escort us off the ship, but I don't know if they'll take us all the way to Lazy River. Yes, hey, let's ask so them, though. <laughs> we are going to be in the Yacht Club, and we have butlers. Um, and, you know, the very first time we were ever on the Yacht Club, yeah, the butler will actually unpack your luggage for you if you want him to. I just didn't want him unpacking my luggage. But I thought, wow, they'll unpack for me and everything? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. I didn't want him unpacking my luggage. That just seems a little too, no. Yeah, I, I didn't want that. Mm -mm. Yeah. I mean, some of my drawers are, like, older than my kids, so. I <laughs> know they're not. <laughs> Be like, dude, you, Really? You got to save money so you can afford to go on a cruise, right? But um, anyway, after that, right after that, right, we're doing the Norwegian Breakaway group cruise. So come on with on that. And then after that, in October 26th through November 2nd, out of L.A., Discovery Princess. And then in December, check it out, y'all, December 14th through the 21st, we will be on the Sun Princess, the brand new ship for Princess, going out of Fort Lauderdale. And Marjorie's going to be with us on that one. Yes, Marjorie's going to be with us on that one. Let me tell you. Chet is so excited about that ship. I'll be working and he'll go, you got to come see this video of the Sun Princess. I'm working. I'm trying to pay for the Sun Princess. I don't have time to watch a video about the Sun Princess. I think Marjorie's more excited than I am because I'll get a message on my phone. It's Marjorie. Hey, did you see that on the Sun Princess? I'm like, yeah, Marjorie, I just saw it. <laughs> Lori Barber says there'll be six of us floating down that lazy river. Right on, right on, Lori. It's going to be great. I love a lazy river. Me too. I mean, I enjoy swimming, but I... I I don't really care to swim swim. I mean, I can swim, but uh, I guess because I'm older, I like to just lounge in the water. That's why they call it a lazy and river. I know. Yeah. That's why I love lazy rivers. You I know what's better swim. than a lazy river, though? No. A free one. A free one. A no-cost lazy river. Because last one we were in was in the Bahamas. We went to uh, Margaritaville. Margaritaville. Yeah, and you know it's $110 a person per day now. Is it really? Here's Petro's Travel. Uh, the nice thing about the Discovery Princess is they do the love boat theme when they leave the park. I know. I so know. Do. I love that. And welcome in TNT's Adventures to Sea. Hey, we were just talking about y'all, Tom mm -hmm. and Terry. And uh, since they're going to be on our group cruise there with us as co-hosts, right? Mm -hmm. They are wine sommeliers, so we're hoping to have a dinner one night. Everybody that's with us on that ship, we're going to get together, and we're going to go oh, in there and let doing, Tom and Terry uh, match up and pair some wines for us. We're doing some shows together. Some shows together. For the group cruise. We are? Yeah, isn't that what you set up? We're Thanks going to be on somebody's show for yeah. four weeks in a row. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For Ocean to Ocean, starting next month, April 9th, Tuesday nights at nine o'clock. Uh, join Tom and Terry from TNT's Adventures to see me and the peanut gallery here, Robin Dodd from Sea Lake Journeys. We're going to be there with Bruce and Sydney from Ocean to Ocean Travel on their channel. And we're going to be talking about the <clears throat> stops, the ports we're going to be at on that breakaway cruise. cruise. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, that's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I was on the Carnival Radiance and the Princess Discovery got in a horn battle with us. And they uh, totally won. <laughs> I have heard that. I, we've actually uh, heard ships doing um, horn battles. I think it's fun. You can't compete with the love boat theme, though. I know, but still you it's know, fun. Why are you going to get in a, in a horn battle with Princess? Because it's fun. Yeah, it's fun. It was fun. Here's Orange Cone. Okay, laugh out loud. Good night. Going back to bed to get over this fever. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Ross. Yeah, good. get feeling better, my friend. And, uh, Hopefully, you'll be feeling well enough. We'll see you in the morning. Uh, we start the day off in the morning at 6 a.m. with Jimmy, the astute tourist, and Kenny, the Ford man. And then uh, 7.15, we got Eddie Lugo Studios. 8 o'clock, Kurt and Marshall will see me traveling. We don't come on until Wednesday, but uh, the rest of the week at 9 o'clock, I have Go Live Together with Eddie, Jeremy, Cheryl, and Scott. So, yeah, that's your lineup. If you want to find that lineup, get over to Eddie Lugo on his Facebook page, and he's going to give you the whole list of what's going down for the next day, which is tomorrow, which is Monday. <laughs> okay. Right on. So that's our rundown of our cruises we've got going on for this year. And uh, if y'all want to join us on any of them, TNT. let us know. Uh, we're going to ask the food and beverage director about wine tasting after we board. There you go. Right on, right on. That's our resident sommeliers right there. They have 
let me tell you what, they have hooked us up. We, we've oh, done a show. Port wine. Oh, oh, my goodness. Yeah, we did a live yeah. show with them. Some oh, port wine yeah. with some chocolate. Ooh. And it's amazing how a certain wine will either enhance or destroy the taste of the food you're eating. And lucky for us, we know them, and they know which ones to <laughs> match it up to make Here's it right. Aaron. Uh, do not enter a ship horn contest against A, Discovery Princess, or any Disney ship. How am I doing so far? <laughs> 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 I think you're doing pretty good, Eric. <laughs> Maybe Enzo. What are you kicking me for? He is. He's wanting me. To, he thought I was putting him down, so he's kicking my hand away. Like, no, no, don't put me down. <laughs> don't put me down. Put me down, sweetheart. I'm not putting you down. Just had to, I had to shift your fat little self around. Okay, so that was our game for tonight. That's our rundown for tonight. So we, we'll be getting off a little early, but uh, we just want to thank you all for joining us uh, here on this Happy Sunday night. Happy Easter for those of you that are Christian. Happy Resurrection Day. That's right. Um, for those of you that like hunting Easter eggs, go eat you some deviled eggs. <laughs> Happy hunting to you. <laughs> Until next time, we'll see you around the channel. See you around the channel. We got to end the show. Oh, we got it in the show.